Now let's take the time to identify the nail anatomy. Our learning objective today is to describe the nine basic parts of the nail unit. The basic nail unit is composed of nine parts. The nail plate, the nail bed, the matrix, the cuticle, the eponychium, the perinechium, the hyponychium, specialized ligaments, and nail folds. Now let's take a little bit to discuss each in detail. The nail plate. The nail plate is composed of hardened keratin. It is a plate that sits on top of and covers the nail bed. The nail plate is the most visible portion of the nail. It is the most functional portion of the nail. The nail plate is composed of hundreds of layers of nail cells. The free edge is the portion of the nail plate that extends beyond the fingertips. Now we move on to the nail bed. The nail bed is the living skin underneath the nail plate. The nail bed contains a rich blood supply which gives the nail bed its pinkish color. The nail bed contains many nerve endings. There is a thin layer of tissue that connects the nail plate to the nail bed. That thin layer of tissue is known as the bed epithelium. Next is the matrix. The matrix is where the nail plate cells are formed. The matrix contains nerves, lymph, and blood vessels. The matrix extends under the nail fold at the base of the nail. The visible portion of the matrix is called the lanula. The lanula is a half moon shape and is white in color. All nails have a lanula, but some may be short and remain hidden underneath the nail fold. Nail growth and appearance can be affected by poor health, nail disorder, disease, or injury to the matrix. Now we move on to the cuticle. The cuticle is the dead tissue that attaches to the nail plate. The cuticle can be gently scraped from the nail plate. The cuticle helps seal the space between the eponychium and the nail plate to prevent injury and infection. The cuticle is commonly confused with the eponychium. Cuticle softeners, conditioners, etc. are meant to be used for the eponychium, not the cuticle. Cuticle removers are for removing cuticle, dead tissue. The eponychium is the living skin that grows up to the base of the nail plate. The eponychium will bleed if it is cut. The eponychium should be gently pushed back during a manicure. Cutting any eponychium is outside of the scope of practice. The perinechium is the living skin bordering the root and sides of the nail. So this is your side walls. The hyponychium is the thick skin that connects the finger to the nail plate under the free edge of the nail plate. The hyponychium prevents infection of the nail bed. Next we discuss specialized ligaments. First of all, ligaments are tissue that connect bones and hold organs in place. The nails contain specialized ligaments that connect the nail bed and the nail matrix to the underlying bone to help hold the nail plate in place. Nail folds are the skin surrounding the nail plate. Nail folds create nail grooves or furrows, which is the hollowed out portion between the nail plate and the nail fold. The nail folds then form sidewalls. Sidewalls are the lateral nail fold of the skin on the sides of the nail plate. 